My name is Liz Mitchell and I am Interpretation Development Manager here at the Art Gallery and the painting that I've chosen is um, Silent Coast by Peter Lanyon and it was painted in 1957 and it's a painting of the Cornish coastline and I, I love it for a number of reasons, um, partly I suppose because I grew up in the southwest, I grew up in Bristol and so like most people who grow up anywhere in Britain actually, childhood is associated with trips to the seaside so I, I remember the sensation of being at the seaside, of, of the smell of salt and the feel of the water and the waves and the wind and the sounds of the seaside and it's very evocative, it reminds me of childhood. And as an adult now living in the northwest um, with two young children myself, we go to St Ives every Easter for our holidays, so um, my children are building up similar memories. And this is a painting um, by a St Ives artist, by a well-known St Ives artist in the 1950s. So it has huge kind of personal poignancy for me in that respect, to do with my own childhood and, and my children's childhood. Um, but, but also, more than that, I mean, this, this is a painting in the stores at the moment, and, and I'm hopeful that it will come back on, on display fairly soon. But it's a painting which is about calm, and I think that when you live in a busy city uh, where you've got to get a busy bus into town and, and push your way through the crowds and, and come to work every day, this is a little window onto a completely different tranquil space. It's just lovely, it's got this big expanse of blue here, and when you look up close to it you can see all the kind of urgent kind of brush strokes giving this big space, and then when you get to this bit, it's got kind of ripped and torn textures and bits where the paint's gone on really thick and then this kind of big kind of swoosh of white foam coming down here and crags down there. It's just all through paint, layered on paint, layered on paint and then kind of scratched away I think in places, although I'm not sure. It just has this fabulous, fabulous texture that the more you look at it, the more you find. Um, more kind of layers and depth to it and, and for me it does, it just absolutely conjures up those um, the, the very physical kind of sensation of um, the different textures and, and materials and substances of, of the coast. Peter Lanyon, I, I don't know very much about Peter Lanyon but I do know that he flew gliders and the sense of being up in the sky in um, an aeroplane with no engines, so you've got no engine sounds, you've just got absolute quiet and wide open space and nothing but the birds and the view of the landscape below you, the shape of Britain and the shape of its coastline, is something which, even though I've never done it, just kind of is hugely inspirational, sends a shiver down my spine. So I can sit and look at this painting and all the kind of tension and stress of the day that I'm having gradually just falls away. If you let this painting just do its thing and gradually all the sounds fall away and everything becomes calm and again you're back in that sensation of childhood with the salt spray and the seagulls and the breeze and it's beautiful and I love it.